Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, I just thank you for this word that you want to give to every man in this room, Father, that you are wanting to empower them into their positions. You know, this church is a unique church. And I really believe that there are many men here that God is going to use for your respective nation. And God is going to use many in this room for this nation, Zambia. And I have a very strong sense about that. Rob and I have been sensing that the people that God is sending to this church, you are not just here to come to church. You are here to receive and step into your destiny. And this morning, as I was worshipping here, the Lord said he's about to position the men into their positions. And you have to understand that the process you've had to go through is a process that is required because according to Timothy chapter 1, 1 Timothy chapter 1, Paul speaks about doing warfare with your prophetic word. But he says also with a good conscience and with faith. And he adds that there. And, he, and I wanted to speak against every disqualification that every man in this room has made and said, I can't achieve this. I'm not a good husband. I'm not good enough. I'm unworthy. I'm not qualified. Whatever lie that you've been sitting on, I want you to lay to your feet of the cross right now because God is about to raise you up. And he's dealing with your conscience. He's dealing with your heart condition as he did with Joseph. And Joseph had to wait, wait for over 12 years 11 to 10 years in prison after he had been taken into Pharaoh's household. And then he had to go back into prison for two years. And his waiting process was an outworking of what was holding him back from his destiny. And God is not setting you up as a man to fail. He's setting you up as a man to succeed. And I really believe that this morning the word that the Lord wants to give to every man in this room is time to stand up. It's time to let go of your past. It's time to let go of your offenses. Let go of every disqualification that you've made. And make right with the relationships that you are in. Because Joseph had to make right with his brothers. Joseph had to take on a new position and a new identity. And he had to come into his fullness. And God is saying, whatever position you have right now, and if it's not in right standing with him, deal with it because God is about to launch you. And I want to encourage you with that. And it says in Genesis chapter uh, 39, it says, But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy, and he gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And in 1 Timothy, it talks about how Paul says, I received mercy. And I want you to have mercy on yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. As a man, you might be feeling like you failed or you haven't Fulfill that which you wanted to fulfill into this place in your life. And the Lord says, have mercy on yourself because I've got mercy over you and I'm about to launch you. You're not going to do it in your own strength. And this is a really important word that I want to give to you this morning. And then for wives, God is speaking to us to stand alongside of our husbands because a woman of valor is a woman that fights for her husband's position. It's a woman that stands before God and says, God, you've called my husband for this. I'm going to do warfare in the spiritual realms so that he gets to where you want him to be. And that is the place of a woman. It's a mighty woman of valor, Psalms, uh, Proverbs 31 woman. And so I want to encourage every woman, look at your words. Look at how you've been with your husband. And God is encouraging you this morning. Fight for his destiny because it's your destiny as much as it's his. Because God cannot fulfill his destiny with one of you. He has to have both of you. You have to be united with one mind and one commitment before the Lord. So let us just pray. Because I really believe that God is going to activate all of us out of our disappointments. Maybe you've been disappointed with your spouse. Maybe you've been disappointed with your condition, with your lifestyle condition, the things that have been going on. And God wants to bring unity between the two of you. He wants to bring unity in relationships because he's about to launch all of us into our destiny for the nation of Zambia, for the nation of South Africa, for the nation that you're representing in Jesus' name. So let me just pray for you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I cast down disappointments. I cast down offenses. I cast down, Father, the places of disappointment and grief. Lord, where the enemy has stolen the destiny from our lives. And in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that as your word goes through this morning, as it hits us in our spirit man, Lord, you bring hope where there's been 
need our hope. You really bring in the understanding of your faithfulness where we have lost the hope of your faithfulness. Father, where we have lost hope in our spouse, where we have spoken words of defeat instead of encouragement and building up one another. I pray, Lord, that this morning, that the words of our mouth towards those around us, those who are going to be part of forming our destiny, Lord, will be sober, will be in line with your heart. So that, Father, we move in the direction that you've called us to. Because I believe, Lord, in Jesus' name, you are raising a mighty army, army of men and women of valor. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.